I'm Dr. Jim, and I'm in Dr. Jim's corner. I have a uh, extensive uh, experience in uh, the design of uh, machine intelligence, all the way from uh, uh, neural networks uh, on up to date. And uh, currently, I'm designing a system which will be a synthetic. Uh, Android brain that will be used in this uh, this overall project and uh, so we're going to use these video clips to help everyone understand what's going on and uh, so that we don't have to write so much. Okay, um, now uh, I chose the uh, propeller proto board, the propeller in general uh, because it has eight processors, we use four protoboards in the project, uh, and uh, various other uh, boards which uh, are either in design or completed, and I'll show you those as we go along and from clip to clip. So uh, this is a uh, USB protoboard. Here's the USB uh, connector. Um, this is power connector, this would be for keyboard, we don't use a mouse and we don't use the VGA because it requires too many pins, uh, I.O. pins to support that. And we need those I.O. pins, they're precious. Okay, the, uh, instead we use the NTSC um, video and we use video only, no audio. We generate audio a totally different way. And so uh, these three resistors that I'm pointing to on this board are, uh, are what's necessary to put together a 75 ohm uh, NTSC uh, baseband video uh, signal out of the propeller chip. Now, secondly, um, the uh, next board that we have designed is the memory board. And uh, I used um, these dip size uh, devices because most people do not have either the soldering skill or the uh, appropriate tools to solder these surface mount devices. It's just uh, not possible for the wider public that I'm trying to uh, address. I want everyone who is, uh, wants to, to be able to do this on a kitchen table. And so um, that's the reason for the uh, uh, for the dips. And I also socket everything. It makes it easy to repair the board. Uh, if you should have a chip burnout, uh, then it, all you have to do is uh, pull it out of the socket, put in a new chip. Instead of usually destroying the so uh, the the board in the process of trying to replace a large chip. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, it's designed with a uh, flat ribbon cable uh, as the interface up to uh, the propeller board and uh, that's as far as I'll go on this clip so we'll, uh, we'll pick up and continue on the next clip.